Hi sponsors, welcome back. In this training video, we're going to set up the investor portal branding. So to begin, you're going to click on the global wheel icon right here. And then we're going to click over to investor portal. And this is where we're going to be able to customize our landing page along with the welcome message when an investor or prospective investor logs into the portal. So we've got the login page first here, and I'm going to go ahead and choose my logo. And then I'm going to choose my background image. Awesome. And then I'll click save changes right down here, and then we'll be able to see the changes populate right here. Perfect. So we've got a nice, beautiful building right here along with the Alto Group logo. Next, we go into the branding. And this is where we're able to choose another logo that when the investors log in to the actual investor portal, this will be displayed in the top left corner. Um, so I'm going to click on this. And I will go with a little bit of a blue. So you can choose whatever color you wish. I'm going to go with simple black on this one. And on the font color, I'm just going to go with white. So let's do save changes and take a look at how that looks. Beautiful. So I've got my logo right here, black background with the Hello Investor just showing up how the text will look. Next, I'm going to uh, type up a welcome message right here. So I'm going to say display the welcome message on the portal dashboard. And I have something pre-saved, which I'm just going to grab. And I'm just going to paste this right here. Awesome. I'm going to space this out a little bit. And then the cool part about the welcome message is that you could actually put in your profile image. Um, so you choose your file. I'm going to choose a profile photo. And then I can also have a signature image, which is you're going to see come down right on the bottom right hand side of my welcome message. Save changes and bang, we have our profile picture right here. Nice bold letters of welcome to the investor portal and then a little welcome message along with the signature in the bottom right. Next, we go into the metrics. So metrics, you can choose up to four. Um, right now, there's capital balance and contributions. The next one I'm going to add right here is uh, I'm going to do distributions. And I'm going to add that metric right there, and I'll leave it at three. I may add four later on. This can also always be customized as you wish as a sponsor at any time. And then access right here, it has quite a few settings. So first, I'm going to want to choose a domain name. So I'm going to do investnexttraining.investnext.com. And I'm going to save those changes right away. Perfect. And then the first setting here is you'd want to enable your investor portal when you are ready. At the moment, we are still building it out. So I'm going to build out a capital raise and then enable the investor portal. But for the sake of right now, uh, we are going to enable form self registration. Uh, and self registration will allow investors when they come onto the landing page to register for the portal. Uh, without self registration, they would need to be invited by you as a sponsor. And then I'm also going to let's, you know what, enable the investor portal so we can see exactly what it's going to look like. So let's do that. Save changes. And at any time you can disable it. So first, if you were to click preview portal, you're actually going to be able to see exactly what it looks like right here. Here's the welcome message. And there's no other data in here to show anything else at the moment. But what we can do is also show the exact landing page. So let's take a look right here. Investnext.com. And awesome. So you can see right here, the Alto Group logo is here, the background image is here, and we're able to register. So I can register, put in my first name, last name, and email address. 
and check off I'm not a robot. If I already have an account, you can go, you, I would be able to go right in and log in. One thing I would like to show you here is if I were to disable enable self-registration and click save changes, and I go here and refresh this, you're going to see that register button disappear. So only someone who's either been invited or has a username and password already will be able to log into the portal. So let's close this out and let's keep enable self-registration on and let's keep that. The other part here that's neat is enable investors to update contact information. This is a very good way to make sure that you have the right up-to-date contact information for all of your investors uh, without you having to go through a back and forth of uh, making sure that you're checking in with them for their contact information and they're relating it back to you. It can be very easy to just let the contact, the investor update it themselves. So I'm actually going to enable that as well. Um, so let's save changes. And that's where this, the settings I'm going to address right now. We are going to address uh, form submissions later on and form submission auto approval later on. So stay tuned for that. Um, but right now we have set up our investor portal landing page. So this looks really good. I like the way the preview is looking. In the next video, we are going to be going over how to set up a capital raise. Uh, so stay tuned and see you soon.